right guys so we're gonna take some professional cream makeup in green onto a sponge and I got this from Rite Aid for about a dollar fifty or maybe just a dollar and just go ahead and stipple that all over your face you don't want to worry about covering every square inch of your face because you want some of your natural skin color to show through so it looks a little bit more realistic than if you just have a full-on green face and we're also gonna take some white face makeup which is from the same brand same price and go ahead and stipple that on top and then you're just going to take your finger and mix the two colors together so that you have a nice creamy green rather than two separate colors. Then I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and a brown eyeshadow and go ahead and fill in the space around my eyes so that I look like I've been dead for like a hundred years or so. You just really want a nice deep set in eye. You want it to look really bold and deep and dark as you possibly can. And then the next thing we're going to do is take the same brush and go into a purple and a red eyeshadow and go ahead and do that right under your um, eyes just so that you look a little bruised and your skin looks beaten up. Then I'm going to take some face powder and just go right over the green. I wanted to let the, uh, the makeup set for a minute before I applied face powder. You can use translucent powder but I'm using my face powder because I have brown skin. Then I'm going to put some of that green right on my lips so that my lips match the rest of my face. And I'm going to take some black um, cream makeup and go ahead and start contouring my face. You just want to contour your cheekbones and um, have your face look really bruised and just beaten up. Then I'm going to take some red and purple and start creating bruises all over my face. I'm going to put one on my forehead, one on my cheek. Just really start creating bruises wherever you want them. Then I'm going to take some of this zombie blood spray and, start, and I'm going to open the cap actually and start creating driplets onto my face. You can just point the nozzle, the spray part down, and you can just create driplets all over your face. It's really simple. And you can put some around your mouth so it looks like you just got done eating humans. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to also put some, spray some of it right under my nose so it looks like I got like a like a freak nosebleed or something like that. You know, something real scary. Then I'm going to go ahead and do some unnecessary things like, you know, bring the color down on my neck and create stitches on my face all just added extras kind of to make this your own and have fun with it and do whatever you want to do to make it as scary as you want but these are both unnecessary things but i thought the stitches would be a nice little addition all right so that's it for the look i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you guys decide to do it have fun with it and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>